Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, if you didn't know. And obviously I get the Monroe from this lovely lady up here. Um, I think one of these days I'll show you around my apartment so you can see that she is in every room besides the bathroom. I used to have a poster eh, about yay big on the bathroom wall. It was her like first Playboy centerfold or whatever. Um, but she had like a red, like silky sheet, obviously covering her kibbles and bits. Um, so it wasn't too risque, but I'm just going to keep it real. I got too many guy friends that have spent a little bit too long in the bathroom when they just have to pee. Anyways, um, <laughs> I just wanted to hop on here and have a little coffee talk. Can we talk? Can we have a little coffee talk? Sounds good. Um, I think I need to change that picture over there. That was my stepdaughter's poster that she drew on. It's a cat and she's 10 and thinks that farts are funny. So, you know, I mean, they kind of are, but she illustrates it. So there's that. I've had this mug for I don't even know how long. 17 years. Got it at Disneyland. Disney World. Got it at Disney World. I've had it since I was 21 and I've been using it a lot lately. I have some organic Sumatra in here and some heavy whipping cream and coconut oil and a little cinnamon a dash of vanilla and I don't know if you guys have tried these before these syrups they're I got them on Amazon the brand is called chalk zero if you haven't had them or experienced them please do I got a three pack for like $18 they're amazing there's a chocolate one it's super thick and fudgy and chocolatey it's amazing. Um, this particular syrup I have in here is the maple pecan. Yeah, maple pecan. Oh, this coffee is good. I wanted to be a little decadent, so I threw in like less than a palm full of Lily's dark chocolate chips. A little mocha, you know? So, I just wanted to kind of talk and, like, tell you guys, like, where I'm at, um, but not, like, on a scale level, just kind of, like, how I'm doing, um, like, myself, how, like, I'm dealing with all of this, because I do feel great, I really do. And my anxiety is gone. Like, probably I would say 99.9% .9 of my anxiety is gone. And I used to have attacks bad. Like, almost once a day. And my depression, you know, that has lifted, like, drastically. Um, so there's been so many benefits to this, but... There's also downfalls, um, like mentally for me right now, just because I feel like my hormones are still trying to figure out, you know, what they need to do and how to deal with all that sugar not coursing through my body. Um, so it's kind of hard to... To process sometimes and like the last couple of days I felt 
really down and kind of depressed and just want to lay in bed and not deal with anything. And that's odd because this is the first time I felt like this. Um, excuse me. Like this in almost three months. I know that uh, lovely shark week, if you guys know what I mean, is approaching tomorrow. So I'm thinking that that has something to do with it. Um, and also along with that, um, I'll open up more and let you guys know that I've never had a very regular period um, my whole entire life. It's always been off. From like when I started, it was always really bad. I would get it like maybe once every six months. And then as I got older, it started to become, you know, every month, but it would just kind of fluctuate with days or, you know, weeks um, being late. Um, so. The first time I got it while starting and being on keto, um, I believe it was, it was five days later than normal, which I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, it's normal for me. Um, and I didn't get like your classic, like PMS symptoms. I wasn't cranky, moody, I wasn't craving anything, and, you know, it was just, it was weird. It was really strange. And then, the following month, I got it three days early. And then, the next month after that, I got it, it was spot on. Same day as the previous month. I was like, whoa, that's kind of neat that. I am possibly the one that is, how do you, how am I going to try to word this? Like what I've been doing and going through and practicing all this new lifestyle and this new way of eating, I feel like I have a hand in possibly like recalculating my cycle like my fertility like I really am starting to believe that everything that I ate before was the reason why I was always so irregular because my body just could not function properly reproductively because of the sugar and that's crazy to me. That makes me never want to eat real sugar, like added sugar, like cookies and candy and, you know, all that stuff. That makes me want to not eat that stuff again, if this is what's happening. So that's really neat. Um, this is really delicious, guys. Very good. I hope you guys are enjoying a nice cup of coffee yourself or whatever you're drinking. Um, I hope I'm not boring any of you. I just, I felt like maybe like a little story time um, and just update you guys and how I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been feeling down lately and it's weird. And I know part of it is because of, you know, Shark Week happening tomorrow. Um, but I don't know, like I'm just starting to like have like these feelings of I guess not not knowing where to go from here. I had such a big high when I, I hit that goal and like I rode that high. <laughs> for a few days, you know? And um, 
now I think I've like come down from it and now like I'm just kind of confused in like where I'm going to um I'm sorry guys I'm still trying to process all this but like what do I do now like do I continue doing the same things and hopefully see the same results or should I switch it up like week to week I wish I had like a better plan you know it's something that I really need to think about um because I'm still doing the same thing I was doing before like you know tracking and eating habits and all that kind of stuff um I'm still continuing with that and I'm just gonna do like the same you know two different kind of like routines until like I figure out something that's gonna get me like totally jazzed again because don't get me wrong I don't doubt at all this lifestyle change it's just I think I'm at a moment of confusion on and what do I do now and I keep thinking about the future and and wanting to be there like the thoughts of that of like I can visualize myself thinner I can see myself feeling healthier I think so positively in the future that I guess I'm just impatient and I want it to be here you know what I mean I think everybody goes through that and I know that this takes time and slow and steady wins the race I get all that I've accepted all that and I'm okay with it I really am I guess I'm just I'm kind of lost right now like and I feel like maybe I need to make another change another different kind of change nothing major I don't know like okay this may sound silly but maybe something with my hair like I've always kind of um I've been like very out there with my hair I've had like so many different hairstyles I mean I've had hair down to my hips from blonde streaks um I've had like chopped like red hair and I just I like to play around with it and it's been so long since I've done any of that kind of stuff the last and if you guys want to check out um, I believe I have a couple pictures of what my hair used to look like um, on my Instagram um, which I will post in the description box um, and you guys can see I had like the what, what did they call it the oil slick so it was like deep purple deep blue emerald green um, magenta I had all of those colors coursing through my hair and it was freaking amazing like I just I was so in love with that that I don't know maybe Maybe I have to do that again. Maybe I'll switch up the colors or something. I don't know. But maybe I need to do something like that too. And it was weird, okay? So I went to go get my taxes done after work. And the last three years I've gotten done at the same place. And they have all these chairs. And I always pick the chairs that didn't have the, the bars on each side because I've tried to sit in them before and I just never fit. And I fit this time. I was like, let me just see. I sat down and I was comfortable. I didn't have like overflow wage, you know, where the metal bar is just digging into your thigh. I didn't have that. I was comfy. Non-scale victory. So that was awesome. Um, getting some money back is awesome. 
I have plans to get a couple of things that I've wanted to for a while. And I might do a little shopping spree too. Get some clothes for the summertime. Get them like a couple sizes smaller. So by the summertime, I'll be rocking them. Oh, so I have that dress that I wore and it is hanging up on one of the hooks. You know, like the door hooks or whatever. It's hanging there and I can just see it. And it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to rock that dress in like 24 days, like three weeks and a few days. Oh, I'm gonna be looking good. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's that. So, I don't know, I guess maybe I should do something a little different too. Um, kind of something for me. And you know, I think another part of it too is being that I am enjoying exercise again and I like being on the bike. I wish it was nicer out. I just, this sounds weird, but I fantasize about like a warm summer day. Not hot, just warm and slightly breezy and riding my bike with the wind in my hair and just uh, feeling that sunshine down on me. Vitamin D. Oh my God, where are you? The state is killing me. <laughs> so I plan to be like super active this summer. I just want to be out there and just enjoy it all. You know? Oh, I just can't wait. So, yeah. Um, sorry about that, guys. A little distraction, but I'm back. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm kind of lost and confused right now, but... I know that what I'm doing right now is right and it feels right and I love that feeling oh and at work today who she's lucky it was her birthday one of my co-workers likes to bake and everything is from scratch I mean nothing is out of the box <sighs> She made Carmelita bars and these, these raspberry jam bars and these lemon bars with the powdered sugar on the top of them. A humongous plate of them. I was watching people just enjoy them. And I was like, you ladies are lucky that I couldn't get past one bite of them. Because that is another thing that happens. You know, if any of you are watching and you aren't on keto or you're just like starting out, after a while, your sweets cravings, at least mine personally, are not there anymore. Um, it's weird. Like, they smell uh, okay. They look amazing, but to eat them? No, like I crave French fries and baked potatoes and meat. You know, I crave that kind of stuff. I don't crave the sweets anymore, which is a good thing because if I still did and I still enjoyed eating them, I think that honestly, I probably would have chosen a couple of the cheat meals that I've had in the last three months. I've only had two. Um, that last one really didn't count. It was more of a carb up. I, I had more carbs than normal, but nothing like outrageous or anything. I probably had maybe 50 carbs, 
that day. So, I mean, that's definitely 30 more than what I'm used to. But, yeah, that was nothing. I probably, oh, yeah, I don't know. I probably would have blown all of them on just sweets if I was just interested in sweets still. So I'm glad I'm not. Um, so, yeah, that was my day. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I mean... I have like 70 subscribers now, which is like freaking amazing. I kind of put myself out there in a keto group um, on Facebook. Just kind of plugged my channel um, in, in case like anybody. I basically did it for like the newbies that are unsure or are feeling the same exact way. So I was like, you know, go watch some of my videos and see what I've been like, you know, doing you know, from the start, it might give you some ideas and tips and tricks, and um, you might enjoy some of my videos, because sometimes I'm kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I definitely appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and um, next time I make a video, I don't know. I will have a little bit more clarity and I'll feel better because I will have a plan by then. So that's basically what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to work on a new plan and I may have a new hairstyle when you guys see me. I don't know. We shall see. Stay tuned. Bye guys.